First of all, uh, we would like to know that what are the new emerging risk factors these guidelines talk about as far as the cardiovascular diseases are concerned? Cardiovascular disease, uh, besides the success uh, in uh, facing major risk factors like uh, uh, cholesterol and uh, blood pressure, there are some rising uh, issues that still is a great problem for our population. It's talking about particularly about diabetes and obesity. This is also to, due to the changes in the, uh, in the habit and the unhealthy lifestyle. Is there any special uh, population subgroup or a, a special kind of the group that these guidelines uh, you know, focus on? Yeah, we focused particularly not only to the general population, but we relied on some subgroup that you really are neglected because um, are at a low absolute risk. We are talking about uh, young people. Instead, they may present very high risk profile due unhealthy uh, condition like uh, uh, smoking, uh, like uh, may, may present you know, an obesity situation that uh, need to focus our attention in order to uh, highlight and uh, increase the awareness am among this uh, population to reduce the further risk of cardiovascular disease. Another subgroup is our women. Women, we know that uh, cardiovascular risk is not reduced, it's just delayed by 10 years. And there are specific uh, female conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome or eclampsia that needs our interest and attention in order to uh, uh, reduce further in, 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 uh, involvement in, in cardiovascular disease. And also aging. All people, we often is, a, is an emerging uh, uh, population that we have to fight in our daily practice. We have very little against uh, uh, randomized control trial evidence of this. Also, our intervention should be wise regarding and uh, focus on this uh, population. Right, sir. Uh, what about the individual intervention or uh, let's say uh, intervention at the community level or intervention at the population level, which do you think uh, shall be the preferred approach? This is for the first time in a European guideline, we not only focused on individual level intervention, but the task force realized that also population level intervention play a major role if we wish really to fight the battle and to win the battle against cardiovascular disease. So no, no, no man is an island. It can only increase uh, their uh, life expectancy, improve their quality of life, also the environment where he lives help him in keeping a healthy lifestyle. So intervention from school, working place, um, uh, governmental level should be take, taken in practice in order to prevent and pro provide an effective cardiovascular disease prevention.